Max, I'm home. Oh. Whew. All right. Ah. Max, what? What are you? What, why are my headphones on the ground? Yeah, Danny, back at it again. Oh. Yeah, Danny, back at Dude. it again. What? Diva on it. Ugh. You and I gotta have a talk, okay? Man to dog. Welcome back, guys, to a brand new terrible video on my channel. As you can see, I just had a little talk with uh, Max. It's hard being a father sometimes, but you know what, guys? More or less, I think he's off to the right path. As you guys can see, I am repping the damn hat. And for that matter, guys, we actually finally have damn hat merchandise and aside from damn hats we also have stop it get some help hats you guys have been asking for those for a while as well shout out to Boyan for modeling for me she did a great job whether you want a ball cap or you want a snapback guys they're all available in the merch store finally for a limited time so get them while you can anyways today's video I, I think this hat is appropriate because this is pretty much the expression that I'm gonna have all video do you remember that app that was super super popular like a year or two ago called musically this guy Wow he just has fuckboy written all over him. Yeah, I know. It, it's pretty much not really that popular. Nobody really uses it. Nobody cares about it anymore. But guys, you know what? Musical.ly is basically just another version of Vine, okay? Lots of really weird people that got really big there, but then the, the app died, and then they made it over and migrated over to YouTube. Musical.ly is the same thing, except... Well, it's actually worse in some ways. This is a deleted music video called Marilyn Monroe, and it's by an ex musically star called Danielle Kahn. Now, I'm going to try to not really talk too much about uh, Danielle, and more or less kind of just critique this music video that was put together by her management, but I guess for obvious uh, public reasons. They have now deleted it. But I just want to watch it with you guys so that you can see where music and where musical talent and ability and showcasing art is going in the future. I mean, this is 2018 and this is what people are trying to sell. Now, I don't claim to be a musical artist, nor do I claim to be a musical critic, but I think at least being a YouTuber, I can critique another YouTuber's music video. Like, I mean, come on, is that fair? I mean, we wouldn't even be watching this if it weren't for Max, so did I blame you, dude. All right, without further ado, guys, let's take a look at the clip. Okay, you see, this was off to a great start. You know, it was nice, it had a little bumpy beat, you know, like I was kind of feeling it actually, to be quite honest. Then they had to ruin it all by doing the classic Rebecca Black stunt, a bunch of little 10 year old girls driving a car, pulling up, and, and another girl goes up to meet them. Okay, I can see now that the girl driving is obviously, you know, more than 16, I hope, but I don't even think she's wearing her seatbelt, let alone the girls in the back. Nice to know that if the car crashes, they're gonna be the first ones to go flying 20 feet into a tree. Now this way too easy for me. All the boys in the block like Sesame Street. Yeah, Danny back at it again. Yeah, Danny back at it again. Diva on it. No boys allowed. Did she just compare these boys on the block to Sesame Street? Okay, I, I will admit, that was a pretty funny line. All the boys in the block like Sesame Street. I really love this kid in the red shirt. I, I like his I like his shirt. It's like, you know, it's like a, a prey kind of shirt symbol. It's like, you know, like it's all gonna be okay. And then he extends both arms because this dude is splowing up this other kid in the hat and he, and he wants a turn, you know? He wants to get splowed up too. He's not only putting one hand out, he's putting two hands out. I don't know if he's going for a hug or a handshake or both, apparently. Well, he finally got his hug and it would have been okay, but the dude in the hat, why is his tongue all over the place when he's hugging him? That's a little weird. Are you watching this? Huh? You you were listening to this first, okay? So you, you gotta watch too, okay? I swear, you're gonna have nightmares about this and you're gonna blame me, okay? But hey, it's not my fault. Yeah, Danny back at it again. Yeah, Danny back at it again. Diva on it. No boys allowed. I want it now. Yeah, I'm a diva like Marilyn Monroe. No boys allowed. I want it now. Count me a diva, Miss Marilyn Monroe. It's, it's a little bit catchy, you know, when you're not actually watching the music video and you're actually just kind of listening to the music and to the beat and you're not paying attention to how much auto-tune is used. It's actually kind of catchy. It's it's not terrible. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Four million fans and they all sing along. Watch me dab when I ride past. That's too much swag even on my hoverboard. <sighs> 
Now, it's obvious that, you know, she's like, what, 12, 13 years old? She's obviously not writing these lines. I mean, if she is writing these lines, I wouldn't give her any flack because that makes perfect sense. The sad thing is her management is probably the one writing the lines, coming up with the scenes and, and what to do in each one of them. That's where it's kind of sad. I mean, I have no idea what she even just said. Aside from the dab, she lost me. Watch me dab when I ride past. That's too much swag even on my hoverboard. Watch me dab when I ride past past it's too much swag because i'm a hoverboard okay well that makes zero sense but yeah i'm glad i took the time to find out i was right i should have a party i'm thinking musically all in my head when i'm dreaming everybody want to copy what i'm singing who is this guy that just randomly came in with a lip piercing like i mean like i know he's a, a young dude but he looks like he's 20 and she's like 12. why do they always do this dude why do they always have some random older dude in the music video partying with these young kids it's so weird Oh, okay, guys, they're just playing ping pong, okay? They're just playing table tennis. Nothing wrong with ping pong. Now, you see, like, once again, if you're really not watching the music video and you're just listening to the song, you, you can kind of jam out to it, you know? It's, like I said, it's not terrible. Now, let's watch that exact part of the song one more time, but this time, look at what's actually going on in the music video. So not only do you have two dudes riding hoverboards, tagging along these other two dudes riding motorcycles, who are all in turn following these five girls in this car. What is this trying to, what, what, what kind of scene is this? I'm just so confused. And then in the very next scene, they all slam on their brakes because they almost hit another car. Thank God they actually didn't crash, dude, because I, I bet they couldn't show that in the music video. Look at these guys' faces, dude. Like, they're just trying to drive by. They're having a good day. You know, they, they don't want to get into an accident. They're just annoyed that these five, ten-year-old girls almost crashed their car. And on the other hand, look at the girls' faces. Clearly, they think it's all their fault. I'm just really glad that he didn't pause the video when I was blinking. I'm so glad I didn't crash. Whew, my parents would have killed me if I would have killed these girls. I really wish I didn't eat that lasagna for lunch because my stomach is killing me now. So the director told us to make like a disgusted face. Like, do you think this is good? Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, they'll definitely get the message. No boys allowed. I want it now. Yeah, I'm a diva like Marilyn Monroe. No boys allowed. I want it now. Call me a diva, Miss Marilyn Monroe. Now, once again, I, I really can't give the girl too much flack because, like I said, I don't think she came up with the lyrics or, or the cinematography or the scenes or the themes or anything. But, I mean, why are they trying to compare her to Marilyn Monroe? I mean, if Marilyn Monroe was alive, I don't think she'd be happy. I mean, if you guys don't know who Marilyn Monroe is, she was one of the most popular sex symbols of the 1950s. Ooh, do you feel the breeze from the Segway? Isn't it delicious? She was literally famous for changing the way people think about, you know, that era's attitudes towards sexuality. Or at least, that's what it says on Wikipedia. But in all seriousness, guys, I, I, I mean, like, I get it's just like a fun, family-friendly, well, song. But I just don't see, like, how these underlying messages, you know, like, fit in with these little 10-year-old girls. Comparing an adolescent child to one of the most popular sex symbols of all time is just a little bit weird to me. I think what they're going for is, you know, like, women power and, you know, like, girl power, girls unite, no boys allowed. I just think they kind of could have taken a different approach to it. I'm, I don't know, it's just me. Danny's so fat, Danny's so flam, Danny on the music app with all of her How much do you think this guy got paid to just sit there and play ping pong for an hour and make a goofy face? I swear, dude, life is unfair. Friends, y'all need help flexing in here. You are now tuned in to the song of the year. Millie rock juju, it's a hat. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this scene here kind of reminds me of something else. Be Rebecca Black, so chilling in the front side, in the, front side, in the, back seat, in the back seat, I'm driving, cruising. Now, I get it. This guy right here, he's probably like the producer or something, or he's probably like one of the managers or bosses or something. But why do people always feel the need to, to put themselves as a manager or producer? Like, why do they want to put themselves in this little girl's music video? Tuned in to the song of the year let alone chasing after her on electric scooters. I mean, it's just weird, dude. If you want to be proud and say like, hey, I made this amazing song, then just put your name on the credits. Why do you have to make a cameo appearance of you chasing the little girl on an electric scooter? It's just really weird, dude. Do like a beauty pageant. Do what you please. Do what you want. Make scooty 
Oh, yes. Everybody's favorite character, the Tongue Kid, is back. Dude, I, I, I just think this guy really loves sticking out his tongue. I mean, he's... Kind of reminds me of Max in a way. But yeah, bro, uh, just for some context, when you grow up, maybe don't stick your tongue out at people too, too much, okay? <laughs> the older you get, the more trouble you'll probably be in. Okay, what was with that really weird ending transition? This is not Universal Studios. Why are you guys making yourselves look like you're like a world-famous uh, production unit? Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they are. I've never heard of them. I don't know. I just thought that was funny. It looked like the beginning of a Disney movie. But yeah, guys, that'll about do it for the video. I think overall the message they were trying to say was, you know, kind of positive, like, you know, girl power, girls unite. We don't need boys, ha ha ha. You know, it's just, you know, girls having fun. I just don't know why they made the theme of the song, the name, even the girls' makeup all, you know, in sync with Marilyn Monroe, who is <laughs> not really famous for, uh childish things. But on the other hand, I do get and I do understand how they could see her as, you know, a popular symbol for women, you know, uprising. So I, I guess I do get it in a way. Just think they could have done it a little bit differently. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button if you're new. And guys, be sure to click the link in the description if you want to get your own damn hat because they're only available for a limited time. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I will see you guys, if I make it, in the next video. Good night.